Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Andrew here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new Lenovo Y50 15.6 inch gaming and multimedia laptop. Alright, let's get started. The all-new Lenovo Y50 is the successor to the very popular Lenovo Y510P. The Y50 features an all-new design, the latest Intel Haswell processors, as well as the all-new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M based off the Maxwell architecture. And for this year, you can configure the Y50 with the touchscreen panel. To achieve a slimmer design, Lenovo had to remove the optical disk drive. The only downside to that is you lose the DVD drive or have the ability to have the Ultra Bay SLI graphics. Alright, let me go ahead and break down the specs for the model I have here. This laptop features Intel Core i7-4700HQ, 16GB of RAM, 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive, plus 8GB solid state drive. For the network card, we have an Intel Dual Band Wireless AC3160 with Bluetooth 4.0. This laptop runs Microsoft Windows 8.1. And the retail price is 1519 US. Be sure to check out Lenovo's website for pricing and details. The starting price for the Y50 is 1399 US. Alright, let's kick off this review by performing the boot up test. Alright, let's get started. Lenovo logo. Still booting up. Logging in now. And we're done. This laptop booted up in about 20 seconds, which is about average for a hybrid hard drive slash SSD. The design of the new Lenovo Y50 looks magnificent. Take a look at the aluminum top and bottom covers. Let me show you a view right here. Look at that stunning finish that Lenovo put on the Y50. Let's take a look at the bottom now. There goes the subwoofer on the bottom. And the exhaust ports for the fans. This laptop features two fans. If you're coming from a bulkier laptop or the previous generation Y510P, then you'll appreciate the all-new design and slim profile of the new Y50. The weight of this laptop is 5.29 pounds and is 0.9 inches thick. Compared to the Lenovo Y510P, that model at its thickest point was 1.41 inches and 5.95 pounds. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your AC charging port, Ethernet port, full-size HDMI output, and two USB 3.0 ports. Let's take a look at the ports here on the right side of the laptop. Here you got your Kensington security slot, USB 2.0 port, an SD card reader, a headset port, and your SPDIF port. For this section we're going to talk about the display. The version we have here features a 15.6 inch anti-glare display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Lenovo is also introducing an Ultra HD version with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 that should be available to order soon. And for the first time ever, Lenovo is introducing a touchscreen version of the new Lenovo Y50. That model starts at $1,499 US. The display quality on the new Lenovo Y50 has been very good. Colors and text look sharp and crisp. Take a look at this display right here. Alright, for this section let's test out the viewing angles on the 15.6 inch non-IPS display. Alright, let's get started. Let's go and rotate the laptop to the left. So far the viewing angles has been outstanding. Take a look at this. Especially for a non-IPS display. Alright, let's go and test out the angle by tilting the display all the way back. This also gives you an idea how far it tilts. And that's at 100% right there. This laptop features the Intel Core i7-4700HQ running at 2.4GHz with the Turbo Boost up to 3.4GHz. This quad-core i7 chip has been a beast. It's basically handled every task I've thrown at it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is the 64-bit version here. For the single-core score, I got 3,020. And for the multi-core score, I got 11,206. And for Cinebench R15, I got a score of 499 CB. Again, excellent performance from the i7 chip. There's been a lot of speculation whether the 4GB version of the NVIDIA GTX 860M is based on the Maxwell architecture or not. And to prove that, let's look at the hardware info. And yes, indeed it is. This is the GM107, which is based off the Maxwell architecture with 4GB of video memory and 640 shaders. Also keep in mind there is also a 2GB version of the NVIDIA GTX 860M. The performance of the NVIDIA GTX 860M has been outstanding, one of the best mobile graphics cards I've ever tested. Let me go and show you some benchmarks here. This is Cinebench R15. For the Cinebench R15 OpenGL test, I got a score 91.50 frames per second, which is breathtaking. 
Next up, let's take a look at some 3D Mark 13 benchmarks. For the Firestar, I got a score of 3,521. For Cloud Gate, I got 13,510. And for Ice Storm, I got 80,661. The new NVIDIA GTX 860M has been improved for power efficiency while still matching the performance of last year's 770M Kepler series. If you're comparing the 860M to the 755M found in the Lenovo Y510P, then the 860M blows the 755M out of the water. However, if you're comparing the 860M to the 755M SLI dual graphics setup, then the slight advantage goes to the 755M. But the downsides to the SLI dual graphics setup is it'll run much hotter, consume significantly more power, and be less compatible with many of today's games. With the 860M, you can expect to play many of today's high-end games at full HD resolution on high settings. And to put that to the test, let's go ahead and launch Battlefield 4. For this graphics test, we're going to start off at medium, high, and then ultra. You can keep track of the frames per second on the top right. Alright, this is at 1080p right here. Alright, let's get started. Right now we're about 75 frames per second. Let's increase the action here. We're up to about 65 frames per second. So we're averaging around 65 to 75 frames per second on medium settings. So far the game is running very smooth. We're at about 75 frames per second right now. Just want to take a look right here. I'm going to take him out. Alright, get down. Alright, let's go ahead and put more pressure on the 860M by increasing the graphics to high. Alright, let's test this baby out. So far we're about 52 to 55 frames per second. Increase some action right here. Right, get down. Woo. So far, the A60M is still doing pretty good on high settings. Keep in mind, this is at 1080p, guys. And finally, let's test this A60M to the fullest by switching the graphic settings to Ultra. Alright, here we go. So far about 32 to 35 frames per second. The highest was 38 frames per second I believe. Oh, 41 now. So far still very smooth. Oh what, you want some? Yeah, you don't want none of this. So far the NVIDIA GTX 860M has been highly impressive. Take a look at that beautiful two-tone finish that Lenovo put on this keyboard. It just looks awesome. The keyboard on the Lenovo Y50 has been surprisingly very comfortable to type on. This laptop features Lenovo's AccuType keyboard. This keyboard offered excellent tactile feedback and key travel. Overall, I was highly satisfied with the keyboard on this laptop. Alright, let's test out the backlit keyboard. This is at medium setting. And then you got your high setting. Let me get you a better viewing angle from the top. Here goes off, medium, and high. The Lenovo Y50 features a Synaptics trackpad that has been very smooth and precise. Let me give you a demo of the trackpad. Two finger scrolling has been very good. Let's test out the multi-touch gestures. So far pretty satisfying. You can thank Lenovo for choosing Synaptics as its manufacturer of the trackpad for the all new Lenovo Y50. As many of you know, Synaptics makes one of the best trackpads out there. This laptop features a 1TB hybrid hard drive running at 5400 RPM plus an 8GB solid state drive. For this benchmark, we're going to use Crystal Disk Mark to test out the hard drive performance. For the sequential read speed, I got 95.43 megabytes a second. And for the write speed, I got 83.95 megabytes a second. Even with a hybrid hard drive, there wasn't that much of a difference compared to a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. For the best performance, I recommend getting the SSD version or upgrading your hard drive to an SSD. Let's go ahead and take a look at the internal components of the new Lenovo Y50. First up, you got your removable Western Digital Slim 7mm hard drive. This laptop features 16GB of PC3-12800 RAM. The Intel Core i7-4700HQ can take up to 32GB of RAM. However, at the time of this video, there are no single 16GB DIMM sticks. Followed by our Intel Dual Band Wireless AC3160, which has been performing flawlessly. I have tested this laptop out at multiple locations, and the internet connection has been solid. Overall, great performance. 
Next, let's talk about fan noise. This laptop features two fans, one for the CPU and one for the GPU. Overall, the fan noise has been exceptionally pretty quiet. The only times I can hear the fan running is either when I'm playing a game or exporting a 1080p video clip. Let's take a look at temperature control now. On average, the CPU was around 42 to 45 degrees Celsius with a high of up to 55 degrees Celsius. And now it's just doing your daily tasks like web browsing and watching HD video. Now let's put some pressure on the CPU and GPU. On average, the temperatures were around 62 to 70 degrees Celsius with a high of up to 77 degrees Celsius. And that was after playing 20 minutes of Battlefield 4. Let's talk about battery performance now. This laptop features a 4 cell 54 watt hour lithium ion battery. During my test, I was able to get around 3.5 to 4.5 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 75%. I just wish Lenovo put a bigger battery pack in here. This laptop features the JBL Dolby Advanced Audio and the sound quality sounds amazing. One of the best laptops I've ever heard in terms of sound quality. There are two speakers facing the top and one subwoofer facing the bottom. And when you're playing an action-packed game like Battlefield 4, you'll definitely appreciate the sound quality on the Lenovo Y50. If you're looking for one of the best gaming and multimedia laptops for under $1,500 US, then look no further than the all-new Lenovo Y50. From the sleek and stylish slimmer design, and the all-new NVIDIA GTX 860M, which consumes about 50% less power, you've got yourself an amazing multimedia powerhouse. Alright, this concludes my full review on the all-new Lenovo Y50. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe to be notified of the latest videos just like this one. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.